Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be unboxing and also reviewing two bullet journals that were kindly gifted to me by Kuma Stationery and Crafts. Thank you so much to Kuma Stationery and Crafts. And now, let's start by unboxing the first bullet journal, which is the Lunar Mystic Kuma Limited Edition Bullet Journal. So upon unboxing the bullet journal, I have to say that I honestly really love the smooth pink vegan leather cover and the illustration of their red panda kuma sleeping on a crescent moon on the cover. To me, the illustration is just the cutest and the bullet journal also has a spine detailing of a crescent moon and gold edges too. And if you're wondering what's the size of this bullet journal, it's actually in the size A5. The bullet journal has crips white and dotted pages and the papers are thick 160 jazz and papers which are able to withstand any ghosting or bleeding. The bullet journal lies flat and in the middle there is a matching pink bookmark ribbon and at the back there is a back pocket and inside the back pocket there is their name card and a free sticker sheet. And lastly, it comes with an elastic band closure and with no pen loop. Now, the next bullet journal that we are unboxing is the Lunar Furin Dreams Limited Edition Bullet Journal. The cover is made from linen and it's orange peach in color. I don't think I have owned any orange peach colored bullet journals before and I must say that this one just looks absolutely gorgeous. And on the cover, there's an illustration of a Japanese wind chime, there's also a spine detailing of a crescent moon and also gold edges too. The insides of the bullet journal is basically the same as the previous bullet journal that I've shown just now, but I think I forgot to mention that their papers are made from eco-friendly bamboo papers. And oh yeah, the bullet journal doesn't have any numberings on the pages, so if you're the type who prefer numberings on the pages, you might have to number them by yourself. And at the back pocket, there's also a name card and a free sticker sheet, just like the previous bullet journal. And I honestly have to say that this orange peach bullet journal is going to be a lovely addition to my bullet journal collection. So now, after the unboxing of the bullet journals, it's time for a thorough review of the notebooks by conducting a pen test. So these are the pens and markers and brush pens that I'll be using with to see whether the 160 GSM papers are really able to withstand any ghosting or bleeding. But for those who are new to bullet journaling, you might be wondering what's GSM, ghosting and bleeding. So GSM is basically grams per square meters and it refers to the weight of the paper. So if the GSM is higher, the heavier the paper is and the higher the quality of the paper. And ghosting means you're able to see your writing through the paper when you flip to the next page. And bleeding means that the ink has seeped through the paper, leaving unsightly marks on the other side. But with high GSM papers, like the 160 GSM papers of these two bullet journals, it can actually withstand any ghosting or bleeding. I also decided to do a paint test with my acrylic paint pens, watercolors, and gouache paints to see how well the papers can hold these art mediums. And while waiting for the paints to dry, I'm going to test how crips white the papers are so that when I make a writing mistake, I can use this white gel pen to cover up my mistakes. And I think the results turned out really good as you can hardly see the white ink from the gel pen. And now time for the final review. So for all the pens, markers and brush pens that I've used, there weren't any signs of ghosting or bleeding except for this one which is the alcohol based marker. So basically if the pens and markers or brush pens are water based, there wouldn't be any ghosting or bleeding. But if it's alcohol based markers such as Sharpie, Uhuhu and Copic markers, 
there will be some form of ghosting or bleeding because it's alcohol based and as for the paint test i think the papers hold up the paints really well but there is some small small signs of wrinkling when i use too much water with the watercolors overall i feel that the quality of the pages as well as the entire bullet journal are pretty good and i would highly recommend it if you are looking to invest in a bullet journal okay so now before we end the giveaway me and Kuma Stationery and Crafts have prepared something special for you all which is a giveaway. There will be two lucky winners, one would be winning the Mystic Kuma Bullet Journal and one would be winning the Furin Dreams Bullet Journal. And to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment on which bullet journal is your favourite plus your Instagram handle. And for more giveaway details, please kindly read the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Good luck in the giveaway and thank you so much for watching.